What's up, YouTube? It's Maestro, musician and music producer, and I'm here to showcase the Vibe Count 18 note mini pedal board. Let's get it. Alright, so as I mentioned in the intro of this video, we're going to be showing the Vibe Count 18 note mini pedal board. For starters, I want to talk about why I got it. Um, as many of you know, in previous videos, I was running with the JG3 Tech uh, Mini Pedal Board. And while it worked for the time being, long term wise, and for playability, it's just not that good. I'm going to actually post some pictures very soon on what I actually had to do to mod them to have a little bit more playability. Uh, fresh out the box, the JG3 Mini uh, Pedal Board was very stiff. Uh, you can't really play like you want to. Uh, with those boards because they use the guy who makes them use actual springs um, I think rubber springs for the uh, pedals so what I did was I took those off and I pretty much ran uh, them with uh, rubber bands and just doubled um, kind of like double knotted the rubber bands with the pedals and that seemed to work a little bit but the um, by doing that it actually softened up the pedals a lot more than I thought they would so what I ended up doing just went ahead and just sold them um, sold them to a guy uh, that I met, sold it to him, and just put the money down and got the Viscount AT pedal board. And I have to say that the Viscount pedals are tremendous. Um, if you're looking for pedals that pretty much exemplify or resemble the um, playability of an actual Hammond organ pedals, then these pedals are very great. I actually got them also because of portability. Uh, portability wise, they're not actually that heavy. Um, they do come in a box, and the box is a little bit puts a little bit more weight on the pedals. But the pedals themselves are not that heavy. Um, I got the 18 note because technically you really don't play all the notes on the Hammond organ, uh, on the Hammond organ pedal. Excuse me. So the 18 note does very well. Um, so I'm going to actually go into detail in the next clip on the pedals. I'm going to show you the pedals and actually what you get with the pedals. Okay, so first off, shout out to Craft Music. This is where I got the MIDI pedal board. Um, when you first order the pedals, they actually come with two sets of MIDI cables, which I think is great. Not sure as far as why they sent them that way, but they actually come with two sets of MIDI cables. I actually kept, if you look at the pedal boards towards the end over here, I actually kept the original MIDI pedals that I bought previously for the JG3 MIDI pedal board, but it's great to know that I actually have two uh, spare sets of MIDI cables just in case something happens with the other ones. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what you get. You get two MIDI pedal boards. You all pedal boards. Sorry, you get two MIDI cables. Also comes with the um, power adapter. And one thing that's actually cool, which I'm going to show you guys in the next clip, is that the expression pedal actually comes with the MIDI pedal board so you don't have to worry about having buying a separate expression pedal they actually come with a expression pedal that they made directly for the pedal board all right so the first thing I want to show you guys are the cables that come with the expression pedal the expression pedal comes with two cables as shown here you have your um, expression pedal cable and you also have a rotary switch cable the reason why they give you two cables like this, and they actually come embedded into the expression pedal. One is because you have the um, this little lever here with the expression pedal. And what that is for is if you don't want to take your hands off the organ to use the Leslie switch that's on the buy count organ, you can actually just tap your foot to the side and use that as the rotary switch. And if I have time, I'm going to I'll do another video or another video clip and showcase that actually in the works as well. And as you see here at the end of the board as well, the only thing that you have to plug in is the MIDI cable and the power adapter. The power adapter actually, according to the instructions, is optional, so you technically don't need it, I guess. But I still just plug it in just because. And you see here, you have the pedals. You have 18 pedals here. And actually, I'm going to hop off for a little bit and actually just kind of play around with the pedals so you can see the expression that the pedals have.
also, if you want to do heel toe with the outer shoe, you can as well. Excuse my socks. And as you can see, the pedals, they feel amazing. They feel just like the real Hammond organ pedals. Uh, the expression pedal itself works very good. And as I said previously, you have the rotary switch lever. So you can do this right here. Don't have to tap it too hard, just softly tap. And that will affect the rotary in the Viscount organ. Thanks for watching guys i hope you truly enjoyed this video thanks for coming in and checking out the vibe count 18 note midi pedal board if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them in the comment section below i'll be sure also to put a link in the description on where to get the vibe count organ and the midi pedal board also don't forget to check out my music on all streaming platforms and you can also directly support each individual release on my bandcamp at itsmaestro.bandcamp.com and you can follow me on any social media platform at it's maestro i-t-s-m-a-i-s-t-r-o thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video peace